on guys Union Pacific Omaha here will here and today we are starting up uh, what I should have done a while ago I had forgotten about it um, I was having a conversation with my good friend Daniel at um, over at the Lincoln Rail fan channel make sure to check him out and I remembered let me adjust this real, I remembered about an old series I did called taking a closer look um, I took in-depth looks at specific parts of my layout, and we're starting that up today again on the pretty much chain, very changed layout compared to when I last made the series. So, um, so I'm gonna take my phone. Yes, I'm using my phone since my camcorder makes things look much darker than they really are, and there's already bad lighting over here. So I'm gonna try to do the best I can. So let's get into it. Um, let me move my tripod. So this is where, uh, this is what the area we're going to cover from over here in this section. So this is going to be titled like the short line part of my layout, Papillion, Public, and Western. So let's start. So here is the UP main line. Um, I know this looks like it's reversed, but this is supposed to be the normal position for the switch um, to run trains around here. And so um, you come on, you flick the switch, and you're now you're lined for the, pa the Papillion, Public, and Western. And so this first turn out here goes to a, um, just kind of a loading. I'm not really sure what I want this building to be. This is where they load boxcars with all sorts of products. Um, this is going to be like a chemical plant where we're going to have tank cars if I ever decide to get some. Sorry, I haven't been getting anything new HO scale lately. Um, here's my Alco RS27 that I use as local power for the railroad. Um, and this one right here, this switch here, goes to the green elevator. And we have three hoppers He's sitting here. All UP ones. This is a CNW one. I like that one. And so there isn't much detail, but I'm going to show some stuff anyway. So we obviously have the green elevator building. Um, not too much detail on this building itself. I apologize for the background noise. That is the air conditioning. This is actually, um, this is like tubing from something. Um, and we painted it up. Now it looks like kind of like a green elevator. So that's how that came to be. Then this is the chemical plant. There's a few details. Um, I have a truck sitting here. There's a guy out on the front building. We have some little tank here. Someone waving to a train. These are supposed to be like windows, I'm guessing. Uh, we did not make this building. We ordered this from eBay. Another person sitting here. Here's like the big chemical processing area with all sorts of tubes and stuff. Back here, there's not a whole lot of detail. A few bushes and that. And then here's like the actual little oil thing that would fill tank cars. Coming up to here, we have another little, I don't know what this building seems supposed to be. Um, a casket company, I guess. Just a random building I decided to put here because I thought it looked good. I had nowhere else to put it. A few little details. Caskets sitting around, pieces of wood, um, windows on top smokestack not much we have three little pine trees here here's a, the crossing and then the roads that would go diagonal this way into the farm which we will check out the farm in a minute so over here um, there isn't a whole lot of detail we have a little forklift sitting there and some wooden pallets we have a truck with some loads in the back a trailer more loads sitting over here and stuff like that and we have a little box car sitting here here's another railroad crossing we have a sign here Coming over to the farm, we have a cattle and tractor sign. We'll take a look at that stuff in a second. And so, we're going to move over here again. Here is a um, garbage truck I got from Allie over at Train Queen. So thank you to her for that. And make sure you check out her channel. She is on a quick rise, and I'm glad she's doing well. This is a really nice, this is perfect HO skill garbage truck. I'm just going to knock down the sign. Let's see if we can focus here. Close clearance which is, I guess, something you put it for railroad crossing. And I have these little non-gated um, little uh, railroad crossings. And they're supposed to, these are supposed to be like mechanical bells or something on the top here. And so this is the train station. Um, there isn't a whole lot of detail to it. So there's just a close, I don't really want to talk about it much since it's not a big part of this area. So I'll just give you a close look at it. Here's the back with a platform. We have a few trees and lamp posts, and let's move back to the back of the layout where we can get a better look at some of the other stuff that is in this section. 
All right. Coming down now, uh, we have a little milepost marker here. Yard limit sign. So this is as far as yard jobs can come out of the yard. Uh, 20 mile an hour speed limit, which is really I don't follow that. It's just there to be there. Um, we have my little church here sitting next to the tracks. I have a few trees. The church is, I like the little church. Um, there's not too much detail on it. I apologize for shaky footage again. And there's just a kind of a decent look at the building itself. And here we can see a better look of, oh shoot, hit the church, of uh, what's going on here. And let's move over to the farm now. Now here we have a little uh, building where they would load cattle onto train cars, but we're not using it for that purpose here. So we've got some cattle in there. And I'll move back over to the other side of the layout. Don't worry about all this. We will get to this in another episode where I'll try to look even closer and show you more little features and details about my layout. Well, that was loud. I just knocked my tripod over. Oh well. Hopefully nothing broke. Okay, let's take a look. So, we have some trees surrounding here. These are obviously not HO scale. These are like O scale, but I've had these for a really long time. Back here we have a chicken coop with some chickens and cows and stuff. Um, this is supposed to be like a pig pen. You can see some pigs in there and some goats hanging out. We have cows sitting around. I'm sorry for shaky footage. I'm using one hand for this. We have a little water pump, the dog house, some plows and other accessories. Three tractors sitting here. Make sure I'm not stepping on anything. Move forward a little more. We have two trailers which are on their sides right now. Unfortunately, I'll have to fix that. And then here, um, try to give you a better look at the barns and the details on them. And so that was only this is about a seven-minute video. Um, tried to show a good amount of features for this little section of the layout, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Union Pacific Omaha, out.